Hi, in this video we will discuss theorem 6.6. .6. Let x and y be normal spaces. For f belongs to BL of xy, define norm f as supremum of the set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x less than or equal to 1. Then norm this norm is a norm on BLXY called the operator norm. Also, for all x belongs to x, we have norm f of x, which is less than or equal to norm into norm x. In fact, norm f equal to infimum of sort of all alpha, which is greater than or equal to zero, such that norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha into norm x for all x belongs to x. Also, if x not equal to singleton 0, then norm f equal to supremum of the set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with norm x equal to 1 and which is equal to supremum of norm f of x such that x belongs to x norm x less than one okay so first we want to prove norm defined by like this is form a norm on blxy so we want to show all the uh, properties of norm will satisfy this okay so proof first let f equal to zero so that is f of x is equal to zero for all x belongs to x Okay, so this implies norm f of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to x. Okay, so this implies norm f of x is 0 for all x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to 1. This is for all x belongs to x. Then it will also satisfy with norm x less than or equal to 1. So this implies supremum of norm f of x such that x belongs to x, norm x less than or equal to 1. Okay, so this is equal to 0. So this implies norm f equal to 0. Now conversely assume that norm f equal to 0. So this implies uh, by definition of this uh, norm f supremum of the set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with uh, norm x less than or equal to 1. So this which is equal to 0. So this implies norm f of x is equal to 0. This is for all x belongs to x with uh, norm x less than or equal to 1. So this implies f of x is equal to 0. This is for all x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to 1. Okay. So we have assumed norm f equal to 0. Then we want to show that f equal to 0. But we have arrived f of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to 1. Okay. So this is equation number 1. Okay. Now let x belongs to x be arbitrary. If x is equal to 0, then f of x is equal to 0. Okay. Since f is a linear transformation. Okay. Now if x not equal to 0, then x by norm x belongs to capital X and taking norm of this that is which is equal to 1. Okay. Then by equation number 1, implies we have this f of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to 1. Uh, equation 1 implies f of x by norm x which is equal to 0. Okay, So this implies 1 by norm x into f of x is equal to 0. So f of x is 0. This is for all x belongs to x. So this implies f equal to 0. Okay. Now, let f and g be in BL of xy, then norm f plus g equal to, by definition, supremum of the set norm f plus g of x such that x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to 1. So, that is equal to supremum of norm f of x plus g of x such that x belongs to x 
with norm x less than or equal to 1. So which is less than or equal to, we split this, then which is less than or equal to supremum of the set of all norm f of x such that x belongs to x such that norm x less than or equal to 1 plus supremum of the set of all norm g of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x less than or equal to 1. Okay. That is equal to by definition of norm f. This is uh, norm f and this is norm g. So norm f plus norm g. So we have norm f plus g which is less than or equal to norm f plus norm g similarly norm of kf so by definition supremum of norm of kf of x such that x belongs to x such that norm x less than or equal to 1 so from this we will take k outside then we have norm k into norm f of x okay so and then we take mod k outside so more mod k into supremum of this set okay so this is equal to mod k into norm f so norm of kf equal to mod k into norm f so this shows that norm is a norm on blxy norm defined by uh, supremum of the set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x less than or equal to 1 form a uh, norm on blxy okay so we prove the first part now we want to prove this one that is norm f of x which is less than or equal to norm f into norm x okay so from the definition of norm f we have norm f of x which is less than or equal to norm f here norm f means supremum of the set norm f of x so we have norm f of x less than or equal to norm f okay let x belongs to x be arbitrary if x is equal to 0 then clearly norm f of x which is less than or equal to norm f into norm x okay now if x not equal to 0 then x by norm x belongs to x and uh, taking norm of this then we have a, which is equal to 1 okay then by our this equation equation number 2 norm of x by no instead of x we will substitute x by norm x so x by f of no, x by norm x which is less than or equal to norm f so this means 1 by norm x into norm f of x which is less than or equal to norm f and norm f of x which is less than or equal to norm f into norm x so we have proved that condition next we want to prove this one that is norm f equal to infimum of the set alpha greater than or equal to zero such that norm f of x less than or equal to alpha into norm x for all x belongs to x and also if x not equal to single zero then we have norm f equal to equal to supremum of this set and also supremum of the set so we substitute uh, each of this by some letters for our convenience that is alpha not equal to infimum of the set of all alpha which is greater than or equal to 0 such that norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha into norm x for all x belongs to x also beta equal to supremum of this set and gamma equal to supremum of this set okay now since the set of all norm f of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x equal to 1 is a subset of the set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x less than or equal to 1 so we have supremum of this set norm f of x such that x belongs to x with the norm x equal to 1 which is less than or equal to supremum of this okay so this means beta less than or equal to norm f here beta is this one and this is our norm f okay so this is equation number three now similarly we can show that gamma less than or equal to 
norm f so we have equation number three and four okay now let zero not equal to x which is in x and uh, r is in between zero and one zero less than r less than or equal to one let z equal to rx by norm x then norm z equal to r okay now since f is linear so norm f of z which is equal to norm of f of instead of z we substitute this that is rx by norm x so f of rx by norm x which is equal to r by norm x into norm f of x okay so that is norm f of x equal to norm f of z into norm x by r then norm f of x which is less than or equal to supremum of the set norm f of z such that z belongs to x with norm z equal to r into norm x by r so we take the supremum of this set then we have this this is question number five okay now if we let r equal to one in this equation number five then we have norm f of x which is less than or equal to supremum of the set set of all norm f of z such that z belongs to x with the norm z equal to one into norm x here we put r equal to one so this means a norm f of x which is less than or equal to beta into norm x actually this is beta okay then from the choice of alpha naught we have so we compare this with our alpha naught then we have alpha naught less than or equal to beta this is our equation number six similarly we can let r less than one in equation number five then we have norm f of x which is less than or equal to supremum of the set, set of all norm f of z such that z belongs to x with the norm z which is less than r into norm x by r okay so that is norm f of x which is less than or equal to gamma into norm x by r this is our gamma okay so if we let r tending to one then norm f of x which is less than or equal to gamma into norm x this is for all x belongs to x okay then by the choice of alpha naught we have alpha naught less than or equal to gamma this is our equation number seven okay now since f belongs to vlxy so if we a continuous function then there exists alpha greater than zero such that norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha into norm x this is for all x belongs to x okay then norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha into norm x okay this is for all x belongs to x with the norm x less than one that is norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha into one for all x belongs to x with the norm x less than or equal to one okay that is norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha this is for all x belongs to x with norm x less than or equal to one then supremum of this set norm f of x with x belongs to x and the norm x less than or equal to one which is less than or equal to alpha okay so that is norm f which is less than or equal to alpha okay here alpha is arbitrary such that norm f of x which is less than or equal to alpha and norm x this is for all x belongs to x and alpha naught is the infimum of all such alphas okay and therefore norm f which is less than or equal to alpha naught this is equation number eight so we have equation number three four six seven eight that is beta less than or equal to norm f gamma less than or equal to norm f alpha naught less than or equal to beta alpha naught less than or equal to gamma and norm f less than or equal to alpha naught so from 6 3 and 8 6 3 and 8 we have alpha naught which is less than or equal to beta okay alpha naught which is less than or equal to beta which is less than or equal to norm f and which is less than or equal to alpha naught okay also from 7 4 and 8 7 4 and 8 we have alpha naught which is less than or equal to gamma okay which is less than or equal to norm f which is 
less than or equal to alpha naught okay so from all these we have alpha naught equal to beta which is equal to gamma which is equal to norm f okay so this completes the proof thanks